everyone welcome back to another episode of inspirations with Rashonda, which is a little bit of this a little bit of that all things inspiration for your mind body and soul so if you looked at the title then you probably be thinking what is this with this teddy bear the journal and the lord okay like what do they all have to do with one another that's if i named it that because a lot of times when i do videos sometimes i have a a name in mind that i want to name it and then sometimes i don't so this could be one of those times so if it don't say anything about what i just said just disregard it okay disregard what i said but the thing is is that i do want to read you something so i was in prayer time like some weeks ago because by the time you look at this, it will be weeks ago. And um, in my prayer time, the Lord brought this teddy bear came to my mind. And I was like, I got rid of that teddy bear. <laughs> like, you know, I didn't understand why the teddy bear was in my mind. But when I got up from my prayer time, I wrote in my journal. And this is what I wrote. I said, Lord... I love you and I want to hear your voice. I was in prayer and a teddy bear I used to love called Gray came to my mind. Now this teddy bear was special to me because it had 2016 on its foot. And for some reason, it reminded me of my mom. Now the teddy bear, it was Gray, which is why I called it the, his feet was red and it had the emblem 2016 on his feet now 2016 is the year that my mom passed away and she had that bear like um in her bedroom he had been there for quite some time i think my stepdad had bought it for her like um valentine's that year but anyway um the bear just reminded me of my mom and so I felt like she was close to me because of that bear. I used to sleep with it, but then after a while, I stopped and I set it on my windowsill. Sometime later, I ended up getting rid of it and another bear I called Leopard. My mother wasn't attached. Her spirit um, was not in that bear. I realize now that the enemy will use objects along with emotions to attach himself to you. There, this is nothing more than a portal that's being opened, an emotional portal. I ask God to allow me to come out of agreement with the bear and the emotions I had or formed because of it. It's not God, it's demonic. So I said, Father, I renounce and denounce any covenant or demonic spiritual encounter I made or allowed um, to lord over me in concerns to that teddy bear. I come out of agreement with it. Father, today, let heaven and earth record, I am coming into covenant with you and heaven. Your spirit, Holy Spirit, is the only spirit I need and want. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I wanted to talk about this because a lot of times um, we attach ourselves to things that remind us of dead relatives so let's talk about just dead relatives or uh, spouses or children or or th and that type of stuff because last year and I don't know the name of the video but I did a video and I talked briefly about how um, I had become so attached to my mom's ashes because my mom was cremated and um, my sister had my mom's ashes but she let me keep um, the ashes for like a year and um, and I was coveting them because you know she was getting her house remodeled at the time and I was coveting those ashes I did not want to give her back those ashes because I felt like it made me feel close to my mom but this is what the Lord told me right because I was trying to think of some things some lies okay that I could tell my sister to um like I had forgot mom's ashes at the house and you know we stayed like almost an hour away from each other I had forgot mom's ashes at the house look I'll get them to her next time or whatever the Lord convicted me Holy Spirit convicted me and was like that's coveting <laughs> you know first of all it was coveting second the Lord told me literally he said that's what was it's not what is that's what was it's not what is and when I tell you I broke down because I'm like 
wow, it's amazing. The enemy is so tricky. Is that he gets into these things that's tied to us emotionally. You know, just like this teddy bear. I was attached to this teddy bear. I felt like, you know, my mom was near when I had this bear around. And it was almost like me holding on to her and whatever. And my spirit was a little vexed after some time. My spirit was a little vexed. And I ended up getting rid of, well, I didn't get rid of the bear. What I did was I took the bear out of my bed and I ended up putting it on the windowsill. And so, but after some time, I took it off of the windowsill and I was just like, I think I need to get rid of this bear, like, period. Like, you know, I got rid of him and I got rid of that, that little bear that was with him. And I was just like, okay, all right, God. <laughs> but for God to bring that to my prayer time, it just let me know that maybe there was some remnants or something left behind. Maybe there was some emotional ties that I had that I was unaware of that was still attached to this bear, you know, and, and, and my mom and, and whatever. Listen, I'm not saying anything because you have to let the Lord deal with you how he wants to deal with you. He deals with everybody differently. He deals with you according to your relationship with him and whatever. But I will say this, if you have a true a true 100% authentic relationship with God and you have an open heart and an open mind okay he's going to deal with you about some things and some things that he's going to deal with you about you're not going to necessarily like or agree with okay because that's the flesh right the flesh is weak but the spirit is willing but the Lord, you know, just led me to get rid of that bear. And I was like, maybe there was some attachments to it. But I never came out of agreement with, you know, whatever emotional ties that I had with that bear. I just got rid of it. So I felt like that morning, you know, it broke the covenant of whatever crumbs, whatever, you know, was left behind from the remnants of that bear. I felt like it broke it. I broke it that morning when I said, I renounce and denounce, right? Any covenant or demonic spiritual encounter I made or allowed to lord over me, you know? And so it's the same thing with you. Do you have things in your possession, in your home that you're just attached to? You know, and that, you know, emotionally attached. Because that's what the enemy gets into. He gets into your emotions. That's how he deals, right? He know that you were just, oh my gosh, your dad died and honey, you ain't been the same since. All right? You think you talking to dad. You know, dad visits you in dreams. And dad, you know, doing this and you just feel comfortable because, you know, dad, you feel like dad is around. Let me tell you something. That's not dad around. That's demonic. Okay, that's a demon that's around, that's portraying to be your dad, that's portraying to be your child, that's portraying to be your mom, okay, that's portraying to be your grandmother, that's portraying to be your best friend, okay, and what they want to do is get you tied up into that emotional realm, and the next thing you know, you have a portal, you done opened up a portal, like a demonic portal done been opened up. And now, you know, you're wondering, why is everything in the house going haywire? Why am I always having headaches? Why do I always feel depressed? Why is it just one thing after the another, the another, the another? Because you got a portal open. You know, so, you know, I remember some months ago, actually it was last year, you know, our house, our spiritual house, you know, went through a cleansing. You know, sometimes you have to go through and you have to get rid of certain numbers in your phone. Okay, you're not calling that person no more. But a lot of times we keep numbers and stuff in our phone, pictures of people that we're not even in relationship with anymore. Okay, that the enemy can use that. Okay, to get back, to draw, to draw, you know, to get back in. You know, getting rid of certain books. Okay, certain movies. You know, African masks. I used to love those African masks, okay? I felt like it made me closer to my culture, you know, and all this other type of stuff. But honey, I had to get rid of that stuff, you know, because you don't know the entity or the deity that's tied, 
you know, with those things. I had to stop doing yoga because yoga is Hinduism. Those poses and stuff, that's Buddha. All right, I don't serve Buddha. I don't bow to Buddha. I don't do a double dog or whatever those poses is to Buddha. Oh, I serve the one true living God. Okay, creator of the universe. Not the trees, not the birds, not the grass. No, the one that created all those things. One God. Okay, so the thing is, is that you just have to be careful. You have to be careful and ask the Lord, Lord, am I... You know, is there something that, you know, is keeping me? You know, what what portals do I have open? What do I have in my house? What do I have going on? You know, that's that's keeping me from getting close to you. Does the enemy got some demonic portals in my house that's open because of, you know, a uh, uh, urn because of a, uh, you know, and whatever. And now they got those um those necklaces where you can get, you know, your loved one's ashes, you know, around your neck and stuff like that. Honey, I know you loved your loved one. God knows I love my mom, but I'm not about to wear her around my neck. Okay. Mom is gone. The Lord told me that's what was. That's not what is. <laughs> okay. So basically the Lord was like, that ain't, that's, that's the shell that your mom had when she was on the earth, but that is not who your mother is right now okay so the thing is let the lord deal with you but i just wanted to bring that up i felt led to do it and i just wanted to talk about it come out of agreement with those things just say father i renounce and denounce okay any covenants all right that i made you know unaware you know a lot of times i have to you know come when i wake up when the Lord bless me to wake up from sleeping then you know a lot of times I'm saying father in the name of Jesus Lord I repent for things done known and unknown in dreams you know I come out of covenant with spirit spouses okay I come out of covenant and I renounce and denounce familiar spirits okay I loved my mom but she don't need to come to me in no dream <laughs> you know, I loved her. And if she was still here today, she would be like, girl, uh -uh, that ain't me. <laughs> so this is what happened. You need to get a relationship with God. You got a true, authentic relationship with God. You will know these things. Okay. Let the Lord deal with you. Go through your house. Go through your phone. All right. Talk to the Lord. Ask him, hey, what's going on? You know, because I promise you, if the Lord tell you, get rid of it. Those headaches will go away. The appetite will come back. You know, you'll start feeling better. It's something that's attached itself to you. And it needs to go. Hopefully this made sense. But leave me a comment below. Has the Lord dealt with you before about something that you have, you know, become so attached to? You know, that, you know, you just, you don't understand why you're attached to this thing. Why you, you know, don't use this cup that was mama cup. Don't use this plate. You know, my daddy ate out this plate. Honey, daddy and mama is gone. Okay, everybody need to eat out that plate, okay? You know, so the enemy will attach itself to the smallest of things. And a lot of times, before you know it, if you don't really pay attention, you don't really know what's going on, especially if you're not in a Bible-based church that's talking about these type of teachings, because most Bible churches, Bible-based churches aren't talking like this about denouncing and renouncing you know, coming out of covenant with spirits and stuff like that. You don't hear that. They ain't talking about that. They talking about everything else but that. Okay. So the thing is, is that you need to, you need some, you know, get into a church that is talking about that. So you can know, okay, what's going on? Because most of these things that's going on is demonic. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you have the most amazing day. Okay, talk to God. Talk to him. He'll reveal. He'll reveal things to you. And it might surprise you of, of what some of those things might be. Okay? So, until next time, be blessed. And I'll talk to you later.